Hello my dear friends, you're in the military summary channel and this video we're going to discuss the most important events that took place during the previous 12 hours. We have a lots of very interesting updates and first we're going to talk about Kursk Sumy battle, the battle that the Ukrainians launched yesterday. As a result of yesterday attempts to attack the borderlands, the Ukrainians managed to achieve some results and today is the best time in the beginning of a new day of the local time of Ukraine time to discuss what whether the Ukrainians managed to achieve something and what is the starting point of the 7th of August. And of course, first we're going to talk about the area where the Ukrainians possibly managed to break through the Russian defense belt. This is the territory between the villages Nikolaeva, Darina, Darina, Sverdlikova, and Nizhny Klin and further in the northern direction. According to different Russian military experts, for example, Ryber stated that by 1 a.m. of 7th of August of the local time of Ukraine, Ukrainian time, the Ukrainians managed to establish control over three villages. The Ukrainians captured Nikolaeva Darina, Darina and Sverdlikova. Currently, we haven't received any geolocations, any geolocation that can confirm this, but we have geolocations. We continue more precisely receiving the geolocations along the road Zelyony Shlyakh to uh, Suja. So, if you remember yesterday, we discussed that Ukrainians have concentrated, or at least they managed to reach this line and uh, they abandoned their armored vehicles and after that the Russians start bombing and attacking this territory with missiles. Some sources are saying that the Russians attacked the Ukraine, the concentration of Ukraine vehicles with Iskander. As I understand, the Russians were attacking the Ukraine positions with Tornado S missile. And as a result of this attack, as you can see, the Ukrainians uh, suffered significant losses and most, uh, most likely they lost up to 10 vehicles that were concentrated in this area. Later we got the same episode, the same video, but from another angle. And once again, I believe that that was an attack of uh, uh, Tornado S missile, but not with Iskander. So this is another video. This is an, the same video, but from another angle. And uh, the explosion was very heavy. Then we can see the fire. We can see the concentration of Ukraine vehicles. And the most important, we can see a rich network of the fortifications that were captured by the Ukrainians. Currently, we don't know for sure whether the Russians managed to restore control over these positions or not and most likely today we will adjust the color we will adjust the map and we will add this territory on the complete ukraine control furthermore uh, during the day uh, during this morning already right before i start making the video we got additional updates about the current situation uh, some russian military experts published the video of how the russians were bombing the ukrainian positions in the vicinity of leonidova some this attack was geolocated this strike was geolocated located and uh, this um, video this uh, this video and these episodes of this video confirms that Ukrainians during the previous night managed to improve their position significantly and managed to move even further deep inside of the Russian territory of course we have a uh, lots of questions how the Ukrainians managed to do this how the Ukrainians managed to break through the Russian defense belt and basically summarizing everything we would like to know what is going on from the Russian side why is this happening how does is it possible how is it even possible so once again today the russians were bombing the concentration of Ru ukrainian forces in the vicinity of the village by the name of linidova so summarizing everything we can make a conclusion that most likely during the previous night um, the ukrainians managed to improve their positions and to capture additional territory further in the north uh, let's say eastern direction so we will adjust this area for now as a contested but once again i believe that before the beginning of the next video of the evening update of moscow ukrainian time we will color these two uh, areas uh, as a ukraine controlled territory as for the ukrainian sources we got additional updates about R ukrainian movements they published that the ukrainians are moving as you can see and according to information we have by the morning of the 7th of august the ukrainians managed to break through and to get inside deep inside of Russian defense for another 50, for 15 kilometers in total. It's like the uh, the depth of the attack and the width of attack is around 10, 11 kilometers. So the situation most likely is critical because uh, the uh, uh, the president of Russian Federation, Vladimir Putin, uh, is going to uh, to uh, is convening the Russian Security Council at 1 p.m. of the local time. Before that, at 12 p.m., they had 
of the state will hold a meeting with the members of the government. They are not saying what will be discussed at the serious meeting, but it is clear anyway. The Russia, the Ukrainians attacked Kursk region, violated the integrity of Russian borders. So obviously this is the topic that the Russians are planning to discuss. There are lots of things that might happen. Maybe Putin will just dismiss some generals. Maybe Putin will dismiss Gerasimov, the head of Russian, the commander-in-chief. Maybe Putin will announce another mobilization. Maybe Putin will declare real war or something like this. We don't know for sure. But obviously people, soldiers over the line of combat contact, people in Russia are expecting for real actions from the president of Russian Federation. Not just like to talk, to drink tea and that's it. So everybody is expecting for something big, some real actions, real, let's say, orders that will be completed immediately. Now let's talk about other events. Uh, also, the um, uh, pro-Russian sources are saying that Ukrainians continue to concentrate the concentration of forces. The main area of concentration of forces is the village by the name of Yunakivka. Furthermore, during the previous night, we got report that Ukrainians were attacking in direction of Aleshnya, and the Ra Ukrainian Russians are saying that some Russian soldiers were encircled in this area, and currently there are very heavy clashes. The Russian soldiers in Aleshnya are cut uh, from the mainland. Uh, they are black, they are encircled, there is a small cauldron. They still have weapon, of course, munition, and uh, the Ukrainians are trying to storm them, and as soon as the Ukrainians are able to do this, then they will be able to move further in direction of Suj itself and Goncharovka. As for the southern flank during the previous uh, 24 hours, the Ukrainians conducted this attack, this route of attack as well. And we have the video how the Ukrainians managed to uh, capture a significant number of Russian soldiers. And furthermore, and the most important that you need to understand that up to 42 soldiers, conscript soldiers, were captured by the Ukrainians. Not those who signing contracts, not the volunteers, not the people who are fighting all over the entire territory of Ukraine, but young young boys uh, from 18 till 20 years old, very young one, who were mobilized, who were, uh, who were, uh, let's say, brought to army maybe half a year ago. And uh, basically, they are not involved in the special military operation, but they were captured. And this is a very big scandal. And obviously, this situation will have uh, further going consequences. Now, let's talk about Suja itself. We have additional updates. During the previous 24 hours, the Ukrainians managed to destroy Russian Kia 52 helicopter and now the Ukrainians are spreading the video of how they were attacking the helicopter and the sources are saying that the helicopter was brought down by a Ukrainian FPV drone and there is a video for now we are not sure for 100% whether the video is correct is real so let's wait for a bit more and if the video is correct is right we will publish this and we will discuss this in the evening in the video as for Suja itself we have the Russian convoy that was ambushed and the in the western uh, let's say outskirts of the city most likely uh, the ukrainians destroyed russian convoy with tanks with fpv drones or maybe with artillery as for the city itself uh, lots of uh, destroyed buildings a uh, lot of damage the ukrainians managed to deal as a result of artillery strike as a result of mortar strikes we have uh, lots of uh, videos uh, for example in this video, we can see Ukrainian FPV drones that were flying exactly in this part of Vasudra and how the Ukrainians were FPV droning the Russian hidden equipment between buildings. Of course, the equipment was with fuel, with munitions, so there were lots of explosions. In this video, we can see that one part of the Suja was covered with fire. So everything is not so good as we can see. And it seems that everything was completely unexpected. This is the most important. Furthermore, the Russians are saying that the Ukrainians have mined using the distance mining method, the road, uh, the supply road between Suja itself and the cities and towns that located uh, to the east of Biela and the next let's say logistic area. This road was mined by the Ukrainians and now it's very difficult uh, by the, for the Russians to use this road. So we see a small panic. We see Ukrainian breakthrough very deep inside of the territory of Russian Federation. We see that there are going to be very important meetings 
between the president of Russian Federation and military bloc of the country. And for now, we can't tell for 100% that the Russians managed to stabilize the situation during the previous night. But, for example, the Ministry of Defense of Russian Federation reported that they managed to stabilize everything. And telling the truth, it's not looks like everything was stabilized. Anyway, we need additional day, we need additional updates, additional videos to understand what exactly is happening. And something tells me that today we are going to receive a lot of very interesting videos and geolocations. Now let's move further and let's talk about New York, the second, the most important event for the previous 24 hours. The Russians, as a result of clashes, managed to establish complete control over this territory. And the Russians published the video of how they were raising the flag in this part of New York. As you can see, and this is very important, the building wasn't damaged during the battle for the previous few days, which confirms that Ukrainians abandoned their positions without showing any resistance to the Russians. Based on this video, most of the mappers have adjusted their maps, adding additional territory under complete Russian control. And now the, uh, the puzzle is becoming clear to us because we understand that the Russians are planning to move further in the northeastern direction with the purpose to uh, get as close as possible to Nilipovka. And the same situation we're going to see from the northeast. The Russians are going to move to Nilipovka from uh, Zalizne itself and they're trying to create a cauldron. Today is the, uh, the decisive day for the Ukrainians because today they are not going even to think about any defense operation. The only thing the Ukrainians in this area are going to think about is whether they are able to evacuate and to escape the cauldron or, or not. But something tell me maybe they are not able to do this. And additional updates we continue receiving from Pakrovsk direction. Today the Russians managed to improve a little bit their positions inside of the village and they captured the first structures and the first facilities inside of the eastern farms of this small village according at least to pro-Ukrainian sources. Few more vehicles and Ukraine positions further away was, were attacked by the Russian FPV drones. Probably the Ukrainians were trying to evacuate, but that was a very big mistake because everything in this area was already under complete Russian control, FPV drone control. Also, we have additional progress of the Russians inside of Konstantinovka. Today, the Ukrainian sources published the videos of how they were uh, count, uh, repelling Ukrainian at Russian attempts to attack the southeastern part. And based on this video, most of the mappers have adjusted their maps, added additional control and the um, Russian area. So the one of the FPV drone strike was geolocated in this area and two more uh, FPV drone strikes were geolocated in this part of Konstantinovka. So as you can see, we have adjusted the map. And uh, we have one Russian video, the same story. The Russians were attacking the Ukrainian forces. They landed in the most southeastern part and tried to improve their positions. So this is the situation. The situation is very interesting, as you can see. And that's it for the short video. Video, military summary channel reminds we condemn any violence in the world thank you for your watching subscribe to my channel put your likes to my patreon and have a good day bye bye